the assumption here is that I'm trying to stay close to my opponent. And I'm trying to get them, I'm trying to pin them. I'm trying to get on top and stay on top, not give them space. So operating under that assumption, I've only got two places I can go, this way or that way. Going over the legs is the far less common because you. I just spent all this time passing this guy's guard. I do not want to go back into his legs, right? But if you keep your feet crossed the wrong way, it's okay to do this while you're moving. It might feel more comfortable for you to move your hips back like this, but you don't want to hang out there because then all I have to do is pin the knee and now I can hop over, right? So if I'm on bottom and I'm resting like this, Justin can push my knee down and now hop over and now he's behind me where I don't want him to be, okay? So the first angle back is when I'm stopped here for a moment, I always just keep my legs like this. So if he jumps back over my legs, just lift your leg up and get your guard back. It's really that simple. So we're here, as long as I'm in this correct position, I feel him go to go over my legs, I just lift my leg up, catch him and get my guard back, okay? So that's why the most common thing he's gonna do is go around my head. And what he wants to do is go around and get behind me, go ahead. He wants to go here, and I definitely don't want him to get here, so it's really simple, go again. He can't keep me pinned, and go around my head at the same time. So as soon as he goes to go around my head, I go to my knees. That's your moment to get to your hands and knees. As soon as you feel them go around your head, you're gonna to get to your turtle position. And then from there we can attack and we can fight to get on top. But for now, we're just gonna practice getting to turtle. Okay, so from iron pillow, everybody get to iron pillow. When I go to turtle, it's really as simple as I go belly down and then I have two choices. I bring my knees to me or go back to my knees. And usually if they're heavier, it's easier for you to go back. That's it. And then we're into our wrestling. Okay, so now we're gonna talk about fighting for top. Okay, and so we're gonna work getting on top and working our takedown from there, which is super important. And um, the first mistake, a lot of jujitsu people make this mistake is they reach with their hands. So you'll, people stop at turtle position. I almost hate to call it a position because I don't want it to be a position. I want it to be a transition, a place where you're at only for a moment. Because in a fight, somebody can literally just knee you and kick you in the, in the top of the head over and over again. So we're not going to stop there the way you would in a judo match. But a bad mistake, just sit like this for me, Justin. A lot of jujitsu people will reach and they'll try and hug real tight with their arms. The problem with that is no matter how strong Justin is, how tight he's hanging on, if the other person has a good sprawl, that sprawl and that body weight is going to be much stronger than your arm, right? So if I just hang out here and try and hang on to Coach Justin's leg, yeah, he's going to, he's going to beat me with that sprawl. So we don't want to be reaching. Instead, you want to connect with your shoulder to their hip. And getting a good connection to their hip with your shoulder is the key to getting the takedown. And there's two places your head can be when you do that, right? So uh, sit up right like this for me again. The first place, which is more common, is head on the outside, which is going to turn this into more of a double. That's fine, okay? The downside to that is when his head's on the outside of my legs, it's easier for me to cross face, and, and it's easier for me to grab a guillotine, both of which are super common in grappling, okay? The other option is my head can be on the inside, which is here. And the nice part about this, is it's harder for him to guillotine me and much, much harder to cross base, right? And last but not least, when his head's outside my leg, it's much easier for me to come around and take his back than when his head's inside. Now it's harder for me to jump on his back. So head on the inside, I think, just gives you a lot better control for submission grappling. So Coach Justin's just gonna sit like this. And I'm just gonna work going from turtle to connect my shoulder with my head on the inside and get the takedown. And I want you guys to see you don't even need your, to grab his legs. And the problem, the other problem, not only are his legs stronger than my arms, but when both my arms are occupied grabbing him, I can't move. I need my hands on the mat to move, which is why Coach Lloyd always tells you guys in wrestling class, he never wants to see two elbows on the mat at the same time. That means you're stationary, okay? So from turtle, I'm just gonna go here. And I wanna get a good connection with my shoulder to Coach Justin's hip. My ear is buried in his stomach, and now I just circle behind him. And that's my takedown. Okay, super easy. So we'll go back and sit up. And go nice and slow, right? We don't need to, to hit hard on each other, but you've escaped going to turtle. 
you can even work that in, work to turtle. I drive, get a good connection, and I circle that direction behind him, okay? Try that first without even using your hands at all, without grabbing their legs, okay? Go back and forth. Good, good, good. Look here real quick, guys. The connection, the place is really important. I have Coach Justin do it to me nice and slow. Shoulder, his shoulder to my hip bone. That's where he's going to move my skeleton best, right? If he's a little lower than that, it's easier for me to drop down on him. If he's a little harder than that, he's not going to move my body as well. I can get my hips in. As soon as he gets that shoulder connected good to my hip bone, now he circles this way. That's the easiest takedown, and you'll feel it, okay? Now, you need your hands on the mat to be able to, to do that. We can add now our underhook arm in, which is what we're going to use the underhook for. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to reach as far as I can. So not grabbing here, but actually grabbing super light, as low as I can get, like a corkscrew. It's that same internal rotation. I want my arm fully extended. And this is much stronger than this. If I go here and I tell Justin, go ahead and sprawl, I'm not going to top, stop him from sprawling me and I'll be stuck, right? If I'm here and I say sprawl, I can still just keep moving out behind him in that direction. So this grip is much better. So now we'll add that so he's upright. I want to shoot in and feel my hip get a good connection, my shoulder get a good connection to his hip, and then my left hand hooks low and then I just circle. See, that helps keep me out the guard. Okay, back and forth, go ahead. Okay, look here real quick, stay where you're at. If Coach Justin drives straight into me, he may still get the takedown, right? But we're in a grappling match, we're in a submission grappling match, he drives straight into me, what am I going to be doing? I'm going to be pulling guard. He doesn't want to get inside my guard and maybe get put in a triangle. But if he circles to do the same thing, as he moves this way, I'm not going to get my guard back. If I try and get guard back, he winds up getting cross side. So it's not only just more advantageous to not drive but circle, but it also puts you in a much better position. So you want to drive into him just enough to feel your shoulder connect, and then it's around, not in. You're going out around their guard. Okay, keep going. Thanks for watching. Uh, make sure you subscribe, hit the bell for frequent updates because we're updating this every week. And make sure you comment and like and share our videos. We appreciate it and we definitely try and respond to all the comments. And if you like what we're doing and you like the material, check out SPG University, SPGU, uh, and you're going to see a ton more uh, in, in much greater depth than what you see here on YouTube. Thank you very much.